Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. Morning scripture came from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 3. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, to give you thanks for yet another day of life. Lord, before we even go any further, you said we ought to cast our cares on you. You also said that in the burden of oars that we have taken up along life's way, you will take it for us. You would bear it for us. And you would just give us something light. To bear and to carry. This is what we ask each and every one of us today. Is that you take these burdens dear Lord. That you do not allow us to be stubborn in trying to bear it of our own self. Because we know that's going to lead to destruction, fatigue. Um, yeah and all of those negativities. But instead... Let us be humble enough to acknowledge that we are in need of help. We are in need of a saviour. And that is only found in you, Lord Jesus. So, take our burdens, we ask, please and thank you. Cause us not to take up any new burdens. Cause us also not to become taken over the cares of this life. But that we operate in this world, but up, not off this world. We are in the world, but not off it. So that we're not tainted by this world, but that we are renewed day by day by you, Lord Jesus. So in this, as we try to strive towards this, we ask that you lead us. Oh, Heavenly Father, by your Holy Spirit that you have so graciously granted unto us to even have that privilege that you dwell in us. And it's not just that you dwell in us, but you want to lead us unto all righteousness. And this is what we ask that you do by your power of your Holy Spirit. That you continue to Help us to encourage us, to remind us, bring to remembrance things of old so we can learn from them by your holy word. So that we may know and do your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. Which shall be our prayer from this time forth and forevermore. <whistles> Heavenly Father. Just want to ask that you continue to show forth your love in us. That you continue to encourage us to go out and just to bear that light of Christ. In all seasons, in all situations, in all instances. We want to be acknowledged that we are the children of the Most High God. And dear Lord, we are asking that you strengthen us, you heal us, you provide for us so that we may be able to endure and overcome these tests and trials of this life that we are destined to face so that we may be purified and purged and scourged from all things that are not needed for our growth in you and that we may be wholly presented before you. Lord, any things that we have learned of old, any behaviors or mannerisms or anything of our former self that is yet still lingering that is not of you, we are praying that you scourge it and you purge it. We just pray that we remember that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And though we go through the shadow of the valley, the valley of the shadow of death, 
we will fear no evil for it. Thou, O Lord Jesus Christ, art with us. Your rod and your staff comfort us. Continue, therefore, Lord, with us in your mercies and your grace and your truth and your love. Allow us to impart this in the lives of the youth, in our, the lives of our children and the children to come. Let them not have to fall back in the same mistakes and the same mire pits that we have, but that through our lessons they may learn and refrain from those things that once beset even us, and that they may walk holy before you even from their youth without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing, but holy and presentable, even as you are, and even as you walk, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to continue, continue to help us to help one another in love, and also that you continue to promote, to sustain, to nurture, and put your hedge of protection around marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages, so that in all things, we may bear record and witness of you, Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. Alrighty. So first, Samuel chapter 3. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was and Samuel was laid down to sleep. Sorry. That the Lord called Samuel and he answered, here am I. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not. Lie down again. And he went down and he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that heareth it shall tingle. In that day I will perform against Eli all things which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth. Because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. For, sorry, and therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall be shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. And Samuel lay until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. Then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, Here am I. And he said, 
What is the thing that the Lord hath said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it not from me. God so do to thee, and more also, if thou hide anything from me of all the things that he said unto thee. And Samuel told him every whit, and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth good him good. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. A Men. All right. So definitely we'll be diving into these chapters tomorrow as they're quite juicy. Um, even certain things just stuck stuck out to me when I was just um reading. But as always, leave what you want to um discuss or want to query in the comment section. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.